Hello boat funds, this is Tim from Boatshed Brighton Yacht Brokers. We're here today just for a look at this uh, failed valve. Now this valve did uh, was recently on board a boat and uh, our friend at Neil Asprey at Suir Engineering was asked to remove the valve and change it, which they did. And uh, when they went to, to uh, take the valve off, then this happened and the valve split, which is not what you want. So something's gone wrong here uh, and we'll look at why that's happened. So just to explain what we have here, this is a, a galley sink outlet valve, so water from the galley sink or the basin would drain through this hole here, through this 90 degree union here, through the valve which is open and then straight over the side through the skin fitting which has been sawn away here. So normally we'd expect this to be nice and attached and one piece here which it isn't at the moment and as they went to uh, remove the valve it snapped so why would that be so if we just take a look at the end on view of the valve we can see this black area of the circumference here is where there has been a constant seep for we don't know how long and then this area around the circumference from there around about to there you can see that it's actually quite a, a pink color and if I just compare it to what colour it should be, which should be something like this nice, bright, shiny colour, it's gone pink. And that's a condition that we know is de -zincified. So the metal has changed state over time due to, uh, um, due to corrosion um, and because it hasn't been protected. And this is generally what we, f we fit anodes to boats for, or if on bigger boats, maybe cathodic protection to prevent the metal being eaten away and de in areas like this. And once the metal is de then it becomes weak and brittle. And as you've seen, should you put any pressure on it, should you uh, come to want to change it, you could snap the fitting and actually even the action of opening and closing the valve on a valve that's weak enough could cause it to fracture. Uh, most people recommend you change valves about five every five years to prevent this sort of thing happen and always make sure your anodes or your cathodic protection are working properly which will uh, uh, lengthen the life, lives of these but also reduce the chance of de -zincification. Well, This is Tim from Boats in Brighton just showing you a, a recent valve that failed on a big boat in Brighton which uh, if the boat was in water could have caused an uncontrollable flood um, but certainly something we don't want to see. But uh, yep, yeah, I hope you got something from the video and uh, we hope to see you soon. Cheerio.